Oh, all right. Welcome everybody to the Red Stars' pre-match press conference. We have Kayla Sharples and Coach Petroselli here with us. As always, if you have a question, please use the raise your hand function and I'll use it to call on you. Uh, anybody want to kick us off? Taylor, go ahead. Hey, yes. Um, Coach, if you could just kind of start us off with how the team has come off, or sorry, how the team has kind of looked coming off of that uh, Portland game and uh, what you're expecting from Gotham. Um, I think we we trained pretty well this week. I think there were, you know, parts of the the Portland match that we were quite happy with. Um, so I think yeah, we've had a we've had a good week of training and and um, heading in the right direction. Um, I think we saw in the in the Portland match that we are making progress in a number of different areas. Um, going into Gotham. Um, Sorry, it's uh, you know it's a it's a tall task. Um, very talented. They're very talented going forward. Their pressing is, uh, I think, the best piece of of what they do. I don't think they're that uh, concerned about having the ball that much. In fact, I think they want you to have the ball, um, and and try to press you and turn you over. And then Kayla coming back from your ACL. Um, kind of what would you say has been one of the more challenging parts going through such a long rehab uh, process back to the pitch? I think um, it's not, you know, like a constant uphill where you're getting better and better every day. I think throughout rehab, you have your highs and lows. And honestly, a challenging part for me was when I hit those plateaus where there are, you know, weeks at a time where you're doing the same thing. It's just repetition. And that can get sometimes really challenging and frustrating because you haven't seen the progress that you wanted to. So throughout that rehab process, um, I think being able to balance that and during that time, just reminding myself, like to give myself grace um, as an athlete, as a professional athlete, you know, we all high, hold ourselves to a high standard. We're competitive. We, I'm a perfectionist. So sometimes not being able to, again, hit those markers that you want to in a certain amount of time is, um, is challenging. Uh, so during that process, just always reminding myself to feel all the emotions and to just take it one day at a time and to celebrate the wins. Uh, for me, that was a huge part of my um, recovery process and to remind myself of that daily. And now that you're you're back on the pitch, kind of what are your personal goals for the season? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be back. I think going along with what I just said, um, trying to become that player I was, but also surpassing that player and um, getting better every single day. And so a goal of mine this year is to feel, you know, confident again, feeling, um, feeling strong. And I think I'm getting there. I think it's also just taking time to feel like my old self, but again, like I said, to get even better. And so for this year, it's to progress into those minutes and honestly helping the team obviously we haven't seen the results that we wanted to so far this season and hopefully I mean we can still turn around so whatever I can do to make an impact help the team out um, get some wins I think that is something that I'm keeping in my sights thank you thanks Taylor uh Joe go ahead Thanks, Emmanuel. Good morning, y'all. Thank you always for the time. Really do appreciate it. Uh, Chris, you did mention uh, they like to, uh, Gotham likes to play without the ball. They like to uh, let the other teams high press or, or high press on other teams, excuse me. Uh, with the teams, uh, your team's general, uh, the struggle we've talked about getting the ball, you know, from the midfield into the attacking third and then progressing down the field. How do you think that approach uh, will either help or hinder the team? team uh this weekend yeah i think that's the big question right like how are how are we going to handle their press um how um first of all how do we handle it tactically you know and and does that mean you know playing longer at times um and then and then how do we handle it on the day and and you know the quality that that we play with um when we're playing well um, and we're sharp and we're clean, we can handle anybody's press. Um, 
but you open yourself up. You know, that's that's the risk of the game, right? Like the more you decide to play out of the back, the bigger risks you're taking, especially against a high pressing team. Um, and I think our the question for ourselves is how much risk do we want to take in this match? Thank you. And Kayla, I'm, I'm curious, just coming back, no one likes rehab, right? It's just a lonely process. I'm curious, are you back to enjoying being a soccer player every day and being with your teammates and being able to, you know, do the fun things about the sport? Absolutely. Um, I think that's the best part about coming back. You appreciate the game more when you are away from it for so long. And you mentioned it, you hit it on the head with Injury, any injury can be isolating too. I mean, you're in it with the team sometimes, but you're doing rehab separately. And so being able to be in, you know, full training and doing all the sometimes, you know, maybe mundane things as a team, like you enjoy it a little bit more. So that is something that um, has put a smile on my face this season. And um, I mean, the girls have been very supportive too and helping at any, any moment. Um, it, it does take some time to get back into the groove of things. And so having um, like Tierna is always behind me, like talking to me, communicating, just re ingraining those little, maybe small steps, small tactics and techniques that um, might've let slide because I haven't been playing in um, quite a bit. So it's just nice to have them behind you and always pushing you, honestly, and motivating you to, set yourself to that high standard and to perform at your best. And have you learned about yourself uh, over this last year, uh, learned anything interesting about yourself, you know, through the, all this adversity? Yeah, I have learned a lot. Um, I mean, I've, I've talked about it a little bit here and um, it has been, I mean, when you talk about and you hear about ACL injuries, you always hear like, oh, that's just horrible. And you know, it's bad, but you don't know how bad it is until you're going through it. And I think that was like a realization process for me. Um, so that was like the first thing that I really had to deal with. And then again, um, being an athlete, like it's just so hard to be one out of your sport for so long and to not being able to perform or you know you're doing a simple task in the beginning of rehab of moving your leg you're like wow I used to be able to do so much and I can't even lift up my leg and just readjusting your brain and your mindset of okay give your give 100% of what you have that day even though it might not be your 100% you know that you are used to and just readjusting that way and so I've learned a lot I think any injury again takes a lot of mental toughness and resilience um I didn't always have it, um, but I think through going through it all, I think that it has made me better, stronger, like physically, emotionally, and mentally. And just an on-field for this weekend, I'm curious, you know, how you think your team needs to handle, it's going to be a very emotional uh, game, you know, they're doing the World Cup send-off, how you think you guys need to handle uh, a very emotional environment uh, at Red Bull Arena? Yeah, I mean, I think we are looking at this game, though, like we look at any game, um, we kind of look at, especially right now in the season, taking it one game at a time. And so we're not trying to let any of that really affect us and how we have to perform on the field. I think a positive that we can take away from the Portland game, I think we kind of were finally working together collectively, like as a unit and not necessarily individualized. And so I think we can bring that into this game against, you know, a strong team, a talented team, um, have, they have really good uh, front runners too. And so being able to defend, to defend them collectively, um, will be important. And I think we showcase that against the Portland side. And so I think we can bring that in. Um, and if we do that well, I think, yeah, I think we can definitely, um, definitely win. And I think that again, we have struggled a little bit to keep the ball, but in, like coach said, um, Gotham doesn't mind not having it. So this is a game that we can, you know, get that confidence up again, connect some passes, one, two touch, just kind of get that flow moving. And I think that could help us. Wonderful. Thank you both. Good luck tomorrow. You. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Adnan, do you have a question for either Kayla or Chris? Uh, yes, I have one question. Uh, Chris, uh, we heard yesterday that, um, one of the players is called for the Puerto Rican national team. And we don't know yet, of course, if uh, Julia Bianchi is going to leave or uh, Bianca San George. But thinking about this game would be the last one when you have all the group together and playing and this weekend. Uh, what can you get, take advantage of it? Yeah, I mean, it, it is going to be a while um, without 
a number of players, you know, maybe some shorter than others, depending upon, you know, how their teams do. Um, but it is going to be a while. Um, so what, what we're hoping is, you know, we can put together a really good performance um, that can carry us forward because we know that we're going to have, have some losses as far as personnel um, in the next few weeks. But but so is everyone else, you know, and um, I think each of the teams in the league are, are going to be somewhat depleted uh, moving forward. So you'd like to carry some momentum into those matches. There's no uh, open window for transfer or some adding players during this uh, World Cup and so the restaurants. Uh, there is a, there is a window that opens on the 28th of June, uh, goes to roughly the end of July. Um, you know, our, we're actively talking to people. Um, we're, you know, in the process of uh, of trying to add. Um, you know, we still have. Uh, some uh, some questions about you know what our um, what our club's going to look like as a whole you know moving forward so we got we got some things to sort out thank you thanks if not Taylor you got a follow up um following up on his last question um if you want to um, comment on it can you comment on kind of where on the pitch you're looking to add depth I mean. Look, we're looking. We're looking for good players. Um, I don't think we turn a good player away, you know, regardless of of what position that they play. Um, I think that we do. It's it's obvious that we have some depth in the back for sure, um, but that doesn't mean we we turn someone away. And um, yeah, I, I I think the thing for us, Taylor, is we we need to continue to find find talented players. Thank you. Thanks, Taylor. Uh, if there are no more questions, we'll call it there, and I will send the recording out shortly. Thanks, everybody. Have a good rest of your day.